very loud, isn't it? I don't know, it's not loud, but they're, they're, it's like someone's doing this. So were you angry with us? Okay, I really don't like it. Do you mind if I move away from the door? Yeah, yeah I would. Right <laughs> Do you mind if I try something? What? Tom? Oh no, be careful, Carl. I think you're rude. Uh, rudish. Oh no. <laughs> so, Tom, obviously you're drunk and a wife beater. Um, and that appalls me about you. Um, and clearly, because of that, you're a coward. Mm. Throw something to, not to harm us, but to prove us, to prove to us you're here. Something that is not in this room, anything. It's from another room. Or are you just a coward? Oh! 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 It's a bottle, it's a bottle, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Tom. Jesus Christ. Well, we asked him something. We did. Right? Our vigil had seemed to trigger an amazing amount of unexplainable activity, from almost constant knocking through to the stone projectile and the thrown glass bottle. How would Dr. Kieran O'Keefe rationalise all of the events we had witnessed at Tatton Old Hall? The Old Hall at Tatton Park was an interesting location for the team to investigate, mainly because of the attendance of a celebrity, Carol Thatcher. Earlier on in the day, the team were in anticipation of Carol Thatcher. They weren't sure how she would react to the investigation. What actually happened is that it turned out Carol Thatcher was very much a skeptic. At various points, she was almost apathetic to the phenomena that was occurring. For this reason, it had an effect on the mood of the investigation for the first part of the night. Later on in the investigation, when the team split into smaller groups, phenomena started to occur. Oh! Oh! It's a bottle, it's a bottle, it's okay, it's okay. At some point, David, Jeff, Carl and Yvette were in a bedroom off the dining room and they heard very loud bangs. They even had objects apparently being thrown as if from nowhere. <laughs> the team took a very critical stance and did check the corridor and some of the back rooms to make sure the noise wasn't coming from somebody else. They also actually tried to put controls in place and locked off a camera on a stone that had moved apparently of its own accord. Unfortunately, in this particular circumstance, when the lock-off camera was placed, no movement was captured. So for this reason, I have to be very sceptical about the phenomena that occurred. It is only at this point eyewitness testimony. Tattnall Hall had been an incredible experience, full of character and strange occurrences, which left David, Kath and Carl convinced that they had seen a manifestation of the misogynist spirit of Tom. Until next time, sleep tight. Seriously freaky, that most haunted. We're back behind the scenes at Tatton Old Hall next here on Living. And don't forget, most haunted live heads to Transylvania. The first time the guys have investigated abroad this Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 9 o'clock on the trail of the real Dracula. And it's only here on Living. Do not miss it.